Chapter 52 Barbarians The papers recently reported on the murder of a California woman, allegedly by her English husband, a wealthy relative of an English lord. The young woman had been beheaded. Some were shocked by the appearance of so barbaric a crime in the higher circles of society. We should not be amazed at such things. Some years ago, the Spanish thinker Ortega y Gasset wrote on the new barbarians. He located them among the scientists, leaders, and elite of the Western world. The new barbarians, he said, are those who believe that civilization and civilized men are natural historical facts, like air and trees. They fail to see that our culture is a product of 20 centuries of Christianity. Denying the roots, they soon lose the life and the fruits of that tree, and they become barbarians, men without religious and moral foundations. The godly, says the psalmist, have their roots in the water of life, but the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Psalms 1-4 Have you seen any barbarians lately? They are next door, down the street from you, and even in your own house, wherever there is not delight in the law of the Lord, where men's roots are not in the river of life. The Lord. Psalm 123 Barbarism is all around us, and sometimes in our own hearts. The words barbarism and barbarous come to us from antiquity. They originally meant stammering, foreign, ignorant, rude. By neglecting Christ the Lord, too many families, churches, and schools are producing barbarians.